do you remember these things? They're for hanging towels or dish rags. Here, let me show you. They're easy to make, and if you've uh, never printed TPU filament before, it'll be a gentle introduction to mastering that skill on your 3D printer. Don't adjust your internet feed. Printable Science presents a 3D printed fabric grab paper. This video has been made possible by the generosity of our patrons and viewers like you. I remember things like this being very popular when I was young. It seemed like everyone had one of them tacked uh, to the plate beneath their kitchen countertops. Now, I tried just about every search term I could think of, but I was unsuccessful in finding a picture of precisely the object I remember from my childhood. When I was searching, a uh, fuller brush popped up in my mind, so I'm wondering if maybe this item was maybe the cheapest thing in the catalog that you'd buy to get the poor guy off your doorstep. Anyway, maybe that'll jog someone's memory, and if this item rings a bell and you've got a picture of an old plastic one, I'd be much obliged if you could pass it on to me. The original was formed out of a, a single piece of plastic, and I, I think the holes for mounting it were, were on the outside of the cone, but as I mentioned, my memory's a little sketchy. Now, the design I came up with follows the same principle of operation, and that involves a flexible membrane uh, at, the, uh, at the top with a, with a cross or, or star pattern that allows you to push a towel or a rag into the mount uh, when you uh, remove your finger. The bent edges of the membrane grip the cloth and, and hold it in place. Now, the towel will hang there quite happily forever, but whenever you want to use it, you just pull on the rag and remove it because while the grip the top has on the rag is sufficient to hold it in place, it cannot hold it when you pull at the rag with any appreciable force. Now, I see that there are some modern versions of this thing available on the Internet, and they all follow the same design and exhibit exactly the same basic design flaw. It's this claw, this grabber. If you stick your finger in the middle of the holder without the benefit of a towel covering it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt pulling it out. Now, I've played with this concept a lot and have probably printed off about 50 of these grabber plates, trying all sorts of thicknesses and configurations for the teeth. But in the end, if you have teeth that don't hurt your bare fingers, then you don't have enough grabbing power to hold a towel or a rag in the mount. Now, don't get anxious. It's not as if this device is going to rip your finger off or fillet the flesh of your finger to the bare bone, but it's going to be uncomfortable and probably a little ouchy. It's probably why it's not as popular as I remember it, as clearly would have been labeled by any governing authority as an adult towel holder, which probably reduces the potential market so much that you can't manufacture these things and hope to make a buck. So, at risk of sounding patronizing, but these days I guess one has to be explicit, don't go sticking other parts of your anatomy in this device. Unless, of course, some pain and discomfort is what you're actually looking for. So, while these things may never enjoy the place of honor in the modern kitchen, they are really handy in places where you like to have a rag or towel close at hand, particularly if you're being all environmentally conscious and you wash your rags and towels rather than using disposable ones. So to that end, I've created two versions of this grabber holder, one for affixing it to a wall or cabinet with screws, and a second one for attaching with a double-sided piece of foam tape. Let's review the pieces we need and print them off. Both holders require a grabber piece that you need to print out of a flexible or semi-flexible filament like TPU. I printed a variety of grabbers at NinjaFlex and SemiFlex and Sane Smart and LPrint 3D TPU, and they all work equally well. They were printed with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, two perimeters, four bottom layers, five top layers, a Z layer height of 0.2 millimeters, and a 20% infill. Each grabber is going to require a cap that threads onto the body of the holder and sandwiches the grabber piece in place between the top of the barrel or the top and the barrel of the mount, holding it in place. And now you have to decide whether you're making a screw mounted or foam tape mounted holder. 
The screw mounted holder hides the holes for three mounting screws in the interior of the barrel. So if you want a screw mounted holder, you'll need to print one of those. If you want a foam mounted holder, you'll need to print the other barrel design which has a closed end and a thread at that at each end of the barrel. You'll also need to print a bottom cap. It has a 40 millimeter knockout in the center, allowing you to put a foam tape circle in its center and giving you just enough clearance for a 1 8 inch foam tape so that it mounts flush to your mounting surface. Except for the grabber, all the other parts were printed in PLA with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle two perimeters, four bottom layers, five top layers, a Z height of 0.2 millimeters, and a 20% infill. Once the parts are printed, you can mount the holders where you like. For the screw mounted holder, you can use the barrel to line up the location of your screw holes and mark them with a pencil. If you like, you can then drill a pilot hole or just go absolutely crazy and rebel-like and just take three screws and fasten it down with a screwdriver. Once you've mounted the barrel, just take your grabber, place it inside the top cap, and screw it onto the barrel. Voila! All done. If you choose the foam tape option, you can put the top cap on first. Take a TPU printed grabber, press it into the top cap, and fasten it on the top of your barrel. That's the barrel end, and that has a hole. Then you can thread on the bottom cap, and after you've ensured that it is tightened down as far as it can be, Take your foam tape and cut it to size, or use a pre-cut 40 millimeter adhesive circle. Remove the adhesive protector from one side of the foam and press it into place. Once you've figured out where you want to mount your holder, and you've made sure that the surface is clean and dry, then just remove the other protective layer on the foam and press your holder in place. Voila, all is done. So there you have it. A 3D printed towel or rag holder for responsible adults or children under unwavering watchful eye of a responsible adult. Don't let a day pass without printing one of these off and giving it a try. It'll repair the broken bond you have with any loved one, startle your enemies into respectful submission, and increase your pheromone production by an astonishing 38%. Thanks for watching. And I hope you find this dish towel shop rag bush holder useful around the home or in your shop or studio. There are a lot of fun and exciting projects coming up, so if you want to keep in touch and keep an eye on what we're going uh, to do and what's going on here, then you know what you have to do. As always, we invite you to visit our website at printablescience.com, where all the science that fits, we print.